Girls, you can either sit around with your hearts broken all the time, or you can do something about it. And I'm going to show you what you can do. Four simple steps, how you can change this dynamic of give and take in your relationships. Okay, y'all ready? Here we go. Number one, how to get a man to do what you want him to do. Number one, you need to ask him more than once. <laughs> Asking a man to do something once is like never having asked him to do it at all. <laughs> Why is that? Men are always in such a take mode. We're constantly take, 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 take. We compete taking. We're in business taking. We're just take, 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 take. We're just in this take mode. And all of a sudden, his wife will say to him, honey, will you do such and such for me? And his left brain says to his right brain, you hear something. <laughs> right brain goes, nope. <laughs> it takes more than once to get through to the boy. Now, a lot of women, you know, they, they think that, you know, that her, their husband, they're, they're, they're holding out on him. That, that we are sitting there intentionally not doing what he asked us to do. Just because we're full of hate. <laughs> But I promise you, when you asked it, it went in one ear, spun around his nothing box, and shot out the other one. And he's to remember Jack about what you said. Now, when I was first studying this, I thought, you know, this can't possibly be true. I, this, this, this has got to be inaccurate, because I'm married to a woman who has no problem asking me more than once. You know, she said, honey, will you do such and such for me? I go, no. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart, do this for me. No. Just, Come on. She's got the thing. She pats my cheeks. You're such a good husband. <laughs> do this thing for me. <laughs> okay. You know, then I do it. So when I was first reading this, they were saying women only like to ask one time. I thought that can't possibly be true. And I remember I was, I was in, a, uh, uh, in a church in Green Bay, Wisconsin at the time. I was one of several pastors at a large church there. And I, I, before service started, I thought, you know, I'm going to ask some ladies because this can't possibly be right. So I quick came up to a lady. I said, let me ask you a question. She said, yeah. I said, do you have a hard time getting your husband to do stuff for you? She goes, Pastor, you have no idea. <laughs> she says, I asked that man to paint the ceiling. That was back in October. <laughs> it's March. He didn't do it. He walks in every day. I mean, she's just getting mad Tell me about it, okay? And I said, okay, 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 I get it. But let me ask you a question. Because remember, I want to prove what I've just been reading wrong. I said, let me ask you a question. How many times did you ask him to do it? And she stared at me like a dog at a new dish. <laughs> she said, once. I was stunned. I says, why wouldn't you ask him more than once? She says, I shouldn't have to. I said, you might want to try that. I got away from her. <laughs> Went to another one, another woman. I said, come here, come here. And she says, what? I said, let me ask you a question. Do you have a hard time getting your husband to do stuff for you? She says, pastor, you have no idea. She says, I will ask my husband, honey, Put away the laundry, and I'll stick it right in the middle of the living room. And he didn't do it. He didn't do it. He just walks right over the top of it. He just walks around it. Is just, it'll sit there for a month. And she asked me with all seriousness, she said, Pastor, can't men see laundry? I said, yeah, we can see it. Just doesn't mean a whole lot to us. <laughs> you know. So my, she, she's just getting angry, just tell me about it. So, so I said, okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. But, but let me ask you a question. How many times did you ask him to do it? And that same startled look. <laughs> once. I was amazed. I said, once? Why wouldn't you ask more than once? I shouldn't have to. <laughs> Time was running out, church was going to start, and I, I grabbed another lady real quick. She said, come here, come here, come here, come here. She says, what? She said, do you have a hard time getting your husband to do stuff for you? 
She says, Pastor, you have no, uh, apparently I'm a complete idiot because I have no ideas. <laughs> but uh, you have no idea. And she goes on to start living out the, the horrible transgressions of her idiot husband. <laughs> and I asked the same question, okay, okay, okay. But how many times do you ask him to do it? Once. I said, why? Why wouldn't you ask more than once? She says, I shouldn't have to. <laughs> Ladies, are you listening to me? You have to. <laughs> to just get mad and madder and madder and having a cow over nothing. He, I'm, he doesn't even remember what you said. You're thinking about, but then I learned something. The reason women find this so offensive is because really, they don't want to ask the first time. It's true, you little sinners. <laughs> because over the rainbow, if you really love me, I wouldn't have to ask. Well, come on. Just ask him again. Ask him again. What's the big crime here? You know what, you know what it is? Is you resent the fact that he's resistant to do it. Because not, not only do you want him to do it, you want him to want to do it. <laughs> you do. You. Well, I got news for you. We don't want to do it. Gonna wanna do it. If we wanted to do it, we'd have done it already. Yeah. What do you care about the internal motivations of his heart? Stop! So he does it. I'll finally do something my wife wants me to do. I don't want to do it. I just don't do it. And she just. Because she's getting something out of me. What, what's, with, what, what's with this? Oh, he's analyzing the internal motivations of the guy's heart. I mean, he's getting himself all kinds of trouble. I was in Germany some months ago doing some uh, seminars for the troops who were rotating out of Iraq with the army. This one lady tells me, she says, you know what? She says, my husband, if, if, I, if there are dirty dishes in the sink, he cleans them and puts them away. <laughs> I go, yes. And? She said, well, I asked him, why do you do that? And he said, because I hate dirty dishes. <laughs> and she started crying. <laughs> I said, lady, most women think they died and went to heaven if their husbands. <laughs> yeah, but I wanted him to say, well, I do it because I love you. <laughs> Who cares why he does it? Seriously, you've got to let up on this stuff. Leave him alone. Who cares what his motivations are, what his desires? I'll tell you what most men's desires are, is to do nothing. <laughs> okay, have we established that? <laughs> so get him doing stuff for you. Who cares why he wants to do it in his heart?